Hi everyone, in this video we are going to introduce you to the special taxonomy query of the post module and how to use this feature to create custom category and tag listings. In fact, from Uncode 2.3.0, when using the post module, it's possible to create category or tag loops. This is useful when you need to create a listing to display the taxonomies of a particular post type. Thanks to the new taxonomy query option, you can create a grid, whether it's a classic layout or metro, a carousel, or any other creative variation of your categories or tags. And this with the amazing options of the post module we already know. When creating categories or tags thumbnails, you can display different information, such as the title, an optional description, the image, and the count of the elements that are part of that particular category or tag. To create a list of categories or tags, you must first create your categories or tags and insert the required data that differentiate each of them. In the name field, you can insert the category or tag main title. The description is an optional textual description used to add extra information. And you have some options to insert the poster image of your category. Note that the featured thumbnail field is the one you should use when creating a listing via the posts module. This is the image that takes precedence over the other image options. The other image options are used by other uncode options, but they will be used as fallback in the absence of featured thumbnail. When you have added all the data, just save the category. Of course, after you have created and defined your categories, you have to assign them to your blog posts, portfolio projects, or your products. This is one of the basic options native to WordPress. Now we can move on to create our first category listing. For this example, I have already created a post module with a basic grid layout that is pretty similar to other examples we've already seen in other tutorials. The query is set to products. Obviously, if you need more information on how to configure the post module, we have several dedicated video tutorials that I invite you to check. Activating the taxonomy query mode is simple, and we just have to open the build query options and in the taxonomy query field, select a taxonomy. As you can see here, we can select the categories and tags of the posts, the categories and tags of the products, the categories and tags of the portfolios, and the categories of the pages. Of course, if we have extra post types, we will have here also the respective taxonomies. Here we are with our first listing. We have a grid of our categories. Woman, man, kids and baby, essentials, teenagers, and bags and shoes. We can refine the query thanks to the dedicated options. In this case, I'm going to select as order by option the term order value so that the order of the categories is the one defined by the taxonomy order page. As you can see, there are many options available that you can combine as you need. Let's save the options, and here is the new order we have defined. Optionally, in the module tab, it's possible to define the elements that we want to include in our thumbnail design. For example, I activate the count option with the sub option, display tax label, that allows us to display the number of elements that are part of each category. Here it is, perfect. We have applied some very basic modification. Now we can use the post module options to define different layout variations. Of course, it's possible to modify the query at any time. Do we want to change the query and use the categories of our post blog? Simple. I open the build query options and in the taxonomy query field, I set categories, posts. That's it. We have a quick listing for our blog categories. I hope this video has shown you the potential of the taxonomy query option. Are you ready to use the post module's new taxonomy query option to create your categories and tags listings? This option will be handy to create a detailed overview of your site's different categories and tags.